Hey, thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts about what makes a great uh, sandal for hiking in, um, and even for backpacking potentially. Um, this is not going to be a review on this product. This is just going to be what um, design features I look for now, and you know after years of testing out different sandals, um, what are the things that I recommend looking for when, you know, looking to buy one. So, um, you know, there's obviously different things to be using sandals for. It could be water sports, could be hiking, um, it could be everyday, you know, use at town, um, and it could even be backpacking. Um, I uh, actually backpacked a 600 mile um, or 1,000 kilometer trek uh, through Israel and a pair of sport sandals similar to these, but they were a different brand. They were a company out of Israel called Source. Uh, and those were some great sandals, the the, the, the ones that I had. Um, these are the closest thing that I've found to that sandal ever since. Um, I've kind of stopped uh, hiking and backpacking in sandals for the most part. Uh, I've just gotten sick of, um, you know, constantly having to shake rocks out of my, sand out of my feet. Um, and so I've gone back to like a uh, like a trail running type of shoe with a gaiter, and now no more rocks on my feet, and it's great. Although I did like hiking in sandals. Um, so I, before I actually make, do a proper review on these, I will be taking them on several hikes, and um, you know make sure that I really test them properly for you. But okay, so let's get started here. Um, so it, you know, before this sandal, I was using one of the Zero Shoes barefoot running sandals, and that was great for traveling because they were super small and light, and uh, they were very flat. They could fit in my backpack easily. These would be a little bit more clunky to carry, um, you know, as a second as a pair of sandals in your backpack. Um, but uh, but actually, at the end of the day, I you know I was into the barefoot running thing for a long time, and um, I tried several different barefoot running type of uh, footwear and sandals, and I've uh, since then I've gone back to um, having something with more of a substantial uh, sole. In that I found that the barefoot ran running sandals, the ones I had anyway, um, it, I could hike in them and trail run in them, uh, and it was nice to have that contact, that ground contact, that sense of ground contact. But um, I did notice that if I did any really long hikes in them, I would actually get blisters on my feet. So that never happened to me with those sore sandals that were similar to these. Okay, so let's get into some more details on these. Um, okay, so one thing that I, that I actually wish was a little bit different on these sandals uh, is I don't like that, like, ball on, like, the arch of sandals. This one doesn't have a terrible one, and it's got a soft enough, uh, probably EVA or some kind of rubberized insole uh, built in to it that um, I think this one will wear down uh, you know after some time hiking in it um, which you know that's a personal preference thing and it probably you know is because of whatever the shape of my feet are but I don't like having that ball you know sticking into my the arch of my foot when I'm hiking but like I said the one on these sandals is not terrible and I'm pretty sure it's gonna run wear down soon enough um, here's something that I really really dig on these so okay uh, the way, th the angles that these straps are oriented. So this one, for example, th and this is what I liked about the sore sandals also, was they had this, okay, when you're hiking in here, in, in a pair of sandals, your, your, your foot's doing something like that in the sandal. So it's pulling up in that direction. A lot of sandals that are on the market, th these two things connect here and then they go straight down. That's how my old sandals were, and if you look at, I'll, I'll link to that Zero Shoes final review video that I just shot recently, um, and I'll sh I talk a little bit more about this, but how it wears down, uh, you know, when it when it's oriented that way. The fact that they have this angle, I really like that. It was really smart. Another thing that I think is really really brilliant that I don't know if I've ever seen on any other sandal, and um, is the way that they've attached this. Not just, I mean, I don't know if it's. It might only be glued, uh, but it might be stitched in there in there as well. What I'm trying to say is that the strap goes all the way in, all, all the way to the sole and attaches to the sole. Same thing on the front end here too. You know. So, on all these contact points, you know, it's, um, I, I just think it's uh, intelligently attached. So, what the hope is that, so, 
it's inevitable that over time, if you wear the sandals for long enough, these and you you know you walk in them for <laughs> or hiking them for long enough, all these contact points are eventually going to pop out. The question is, how long is that going to take before that starts happening? Um, and actually, you really never know uh, when that's going to happen. You know, sometimes actually, no, sometimes you can see it wearing down and you know that, it, that the time is coming. But sometimes um, you'll be hiking in them and suddenly something just pops out, especially if you have like, you know, some, some shoddy sandals. Um, then actually even some good ones have happened on some good ones too. Um, but basically, uh, something that I learned from that is that I, I, whenever I'm actually going to be hiking in sandals or going into the backcountry or doing anything in sandals that is, a, you know, a long ways away from another pair of footwear, um, I always make sure that I take one of those leather awls, it's spelled A-W-L, and it's like a, it's like a, a punch. It has like a handle, a wooden handle, and like a piercing, like an eye, like a reamer with a, a sewing eye. And it has like a thread that goes through it like a, a waxed um, some kind of natural fiber thread and it's used to repair you know footwear and sandals and everything like that I actually learned about those when I was traveling in India years ago everything that they do there or all the stuff that they have there at least at that time is I think it's still like this they fix everything and they sew everything even like their boats and everything it's all this like sewing and it's a, it's a trip how they do it. But anyway, I learned how to, I got, I got my uh, sandals that I was using at the time. Actually, that, those were Chacos at that time. Um, and uh, uh, I got them repaired so many times there by guys, you know, shoe repairmen on the street that I watched and I learned how to do it. I'm like, oh, that's a great skill to have. And anyway, like I said, if you're, and I've used it actually, I've had to, when, when I was through hiking um, on a different trail in Israel, actually, uh, the Golan Trail, um, I had my sandals, they were my sore sandals, those broke at, well, you know, at that, like, right there on the trail. I forget which contact point it was, but luckily I had that leather awl and I knew how to use it. Make sure you know how to use it before you, uh, you know, before you go out there. Whoops. You know, it's, I got this beautiful spot that I'm filming in, but I don't have a firm ground to stand on, so I'm kind of balancing in this weird way here. Anyway. Um, okay, so a couple other things. Speaking of the Chacos, that reminds me of another feature that I like about these, which I prefer over those Chaco sandals. So these have a much more flexible, um, lighter sole. The, those Chaco sandals, it's like a brick. It's, it's super stiff. It's like a hiking boot. Like, it's like a, not even like a hiking boot. I don't, I don't know. You'll, you'll have to check it out and see. It didn't compare. But it's like this big heavy lug sole that doesn't have much flexibility in it and you're it's like walking on a brick um i had those for years and i liked them but i realized that that those chaco sandals were not the optimal design for me um anyway so um one other thing that i like about these is that they have these like two independent velcro um uh systems as if you look at those zero shoes in the last video that I did, or in one of like two videos ago that I did, my final review that I mentioned earlier, you'll see that I did a design modification on those because of the way that um, the way that the strapping system was oriented. It was like one continuous lace. Like that's another thing about the Chacos. It was this, it was a similar kind of design. So the problem with that is that when you're wearing those and it's one continuous lace the one around the ankle uh, gets like stranglehold tight and the one around the foot uh, around the toe uh, across the toes gets super loose and so your foot's coming off here and it's like getting choked out over there you know so um yeah actually it has three straps it has this one across the heel too so you can adjust how far back your heels can be sitting on this um, and then also they have these, on the inside of these straps, they have this, like, I don't know what the material is. It's some kind of, like, a soft, uh, synthetic, you know. I, I don't think it's going to be the quickest drying thing in general. Uh, it's, you know, not like, you know, having, like, EVA against your skin. Although this is probably a little bit more comfortable than having that, like, EVA rubberized stuff against your skin. Although I didn't mind it, for the most part. Um, I, I would, I'll take the, like, the quick drying uh, ability over you know that extra padding comfort 
because of the advantages of being able to just get in water and get out of water and then, you know, shake them off and you can wear them right away without having to let them dry. The issue with that, actually, so the issue, here's why I'm saying all this. The issue with uh, having this, like, um, slow, slower drying fabric uh, as opposed to rubberized, uh, hydrophobic uh, material against your skin is that if it gets wet and then you continue hiking in it or walking in it or in a river or whatever, um, it is it is inevitably also going to chafe up your feet and as soon as you start getting chafed up feet you're going to be very unhappy so the the only solution that i've found to to um combat that so to speak is if you okay let's say you're you go in water you come out of water the sandals are wet you don't want to give them the time to dry off the material to dry out um, or it's cold weather, or colder, I guess, and it, and it dries slowly. One thing you can do is um, wear a pair of um, socks, you know, super classy, the socks and sandals. We all know, but it's very functional, especially when you're out, you know, doing this kind of stuff. So, if you, like, and I would recommend any kind of, like, synthetic or wool socks, you know, um, because that's another topic about fabrics and, like, Okay, basically, you don't want to wear cotton. I'm not going to get super deep into this, but you don't want to wear cotton uh, uh, generally if you're, um, like, especially in colder weather, um, because it'll when it gets wet, it stays. It makes you feel colder, um, whereas a synthetic or a wool will still retain a lot of your heat. Anyway, that's a totally different topic. Um, so anyway, uh, okay, so lastly, uh, the sole. Um, it seems like a pretty good sole on this one. Um, you know, like I said, as long as, you know, it can have, whatever, any sole will be fine, really. As long as it has, like, something and, you know, it can grip onto rocks and everything a little bit. Um, another thing I like about these is that uh, I can't tell exactly if there actually is a heel drop in these. Um, I don't like having heel drops. I like having a nice flat uh, sole. Um, but what I have noticed in other sandals that do have some kind of heel drop is that uh, the, you know, especially when it has a kind of a soft uh, EVA or something like that uh, insole. Um, actually, I don't think it's EVA, but I'll explain why in a, mo in a moment. Um, uh, so basically... It, it like as you use it it's gonna even if it has a little bit of a drop it's gonna level out just from you know being smushed down by the weight you know your weight on it uh okay now the thing about the eva sole so i actually like i said i haven't te really tested these sandals hiking uh, very much yet i've only taken them on some short hikes and warm around town um but uh one thing about the the material of this of the footbed that's what it's called not the insole the footbed is that um certain materials i found like in those crocs i used to i spent like two years wearing uh crocs and hiking and backpacking crocs um th if you're barefoot in those first of all those are super loose but we're not going to get into that um but if uh okay so if you're walking in them if it's hot out or if it's uh, you know like I sweat a lot, especially my feet, but I think most people's feet probably sweat when they're doing strenuous activity. Um, on that EVA material that the croc material is made out of, in those footbeds, it slides around. Um, and that was, I found that that was actually a, a big issue. Um, I remember that in those sore sandals, it had these like, some kind, it was, it, I don't know if it was EVA, but it, they had these like rubberized, some kind of rubberized, um, sections on the footbed where your foot would contact it and those were made out of you know a different material and those stuck really well like even if my foot was sweaty it, it didn't slide around in that much um and i i don't know yet about these they definitely are textured so that's good um it'll help the foot grip to it but uh, i don't know whether these are in a slippery eva when sweaty or if uh, they'll be okay it's something that i'll have to find out once i use them more um, and then that is pretty much it. That was kind of a long video, huh? Um, if you got any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and ask it. Um, and uh, thank you again for watching. At some point, I will be, I plan to, you know, after I test these, to do a proper review on this particular sandal. Um, don't hold me to it, but that's my intention at this point. 
Um, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.